What up, folks? Got a box. Uh, gonna do a scent of the day video unboxing, I, and also a celebration of, I believe, I'm not buying that much, but I believe this is my bond that I saw very reasonably at the place I normally buy from, but it's a different box this time, so it's kind of kind of baffled me, but. Uh, I don't know much about Bond. I tried Bleecker Street when I was up in Chicago a while back. I thought it was alright, uh, but I didn't do go too crazy. I initially wanted that, uh, when I started this whole journey thing, I wanted the, uh, what is it, the Andy Warhol one with the, his face on it. But that, I guess, is discontinued and very expensive. And then I looked at Silver Factory, and that was very expensive and discontinued. Uh, but both of them had the note of plum, and I kind of liked that idea. And I thought, huh. Uh, I was looking through the listings of Bond fragrances, and I'm a fairly open-minded guy. I don't care what people think uh, a lot of times of what I do or say. And uh, I thought, hey, there's one. I can't believe it's so reasonably priced. I wonder if it's any good. Maybe it's terrible. Maybe that's why it is. But uh, I think it might be, and in, in celebration of Independence Day, I thought this would kind of tie in. I could have just waited until the, the date. But let me get the name right here. I believe this is I Love New York Marriage Equality, and it had a note of plum, and I thought, why not? Let's go look into it. And there's the box. I only got the 1.7. I thought, hey, uh, that's plenty. There's some information on a label on back, and it's like a box box, so I'm trying to open this carefully without damaging it too much. Uh, and I'm just interested to see what this plum note's about, figure I believe it was more of a summer fragrance, so I think I'm going to wear it today. It's pretty darn hot today, but what the hell, change of pace, it'll be nice. Okay, so there's the box top, and like I say, I could have waited until the date. I believe it was to commemorate uh, the Marriage Equality Act uh, in New York state, I believe. Maybe it was also nationwide. I don't know. Forgive me. Uh, 7 11 But we're going to go a little bit early because I am a little kid and I want to do stuff when I want to do it. So, kind of nice. little chic bottle. Uh, I don't think I can see the level. Probably if you shined up a light. Uh, some information on the bottom. And let's give it a quick spray. Well, I get a little bit of plum. And here's the cool thing. I think there is benzoin or some type of an incense. Uh, I don't think anybody's reviewed this yet. So many fragrances, so little time. Yeah, there's some incense going on. Maybe some cedar. I mean, I like it. Yeah, this is, um, I'm starting to come around more to incense fragrances. Let's do this. this is, that looks unglamorous. There we go. Let's douse ourselves down. I'm going to go to the gym later, so that'll be, I'm sure, intriguing for those around me. Uh, I mean, it's pleasant. I don't know if this is really unisex. There's a little bit of that plum vibe, but pretty much I'm getting more of a woody incense. And I like it. Smells good, folks. Smells good. Nice box. I'm excited. I'm going to probably keep it in the box and keep it as a little collector. I'm kinda, I just think that's swell. And uh, I am not a gay man. Uh, if I was, I'd be darn proud of it, but I'm not. Uh, but what the hell. I think that's a good thing. I, watched, I listened to a thing on uh, Stuff You Should Know and You Should Know uh, podcast. Kind of talked about them the last time, too, but uh, this on the Stonewall. Uh, they didn't like the word. Okay, my crap battery cut out. Uh, they didn't like the word Stonewall Riot. Uh, and they being, I guess, uh, uh, the LBG community. Uh, but they prefer Stonewall Uprising, which, uh, you know, was basically an uprising because of how they were treated way back when and uh, in New York City. And. Uh, Give it a chance. Listen to it. And uh, I don't know. 
maybe I, I'd hate to think that maybe some folks didn't look at this just because it is a marriage equality thing. I highly doubt that in our community because <laughs> I think that it's a bunch of open-minded folks. Maybe they, like I say, so many fragrances, uh, so little time, but definitely incensey and uh, maybe a little more suited for fall winter. But yeah, see on the cap, I do smell the plum. Yeah, maybe it's wet, uh, but yeah, nice fragrance and uh, you know. That's a that's a nice concept, you know, to commemorate something like that, uh, you know, the, the the Marriage Equality Act, uh, something like that. That sounded positive, uh, but yeah, it's it's nice that they uh, Bond did that. I think that's really cool, and uh, you know, I agree with Killer Mike. Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk rap music. Old guy like me, uh, the only rapper I know. No, Killer Mike had them things on the Adult Swim, and uh, he had I don't know ways to live life or something, but it was on late at night and. Uh, I think he brought up one thing about, you know, if you're going to love somebody, uh, love them with your whole heart, and, and uh, or if it's a thing, love it with your whole heart, but gosh darn it, you know, love somebody, and, and, and you know, uh, life's too short, so so be sure to do that. Uh, also today, so that's that's enough on the bond number nine, and on my horrible political uh, uh, social uh, commentary, so... Uh, I also got today in the batch the La Artisan Parfums Skin on Skin. And being my battery went dead, we're going to redo this. But here we go. Uh, there's the box. Uh, Maximilian Usler looked at this of Maximilian Must Know. Love that channel. Uh, learn way too much. That I, I, I even hate kind of mentioning that I watched that one because, dude, there's just so much knowledge. And I'm just like, it smells nice. I want to play tennis. You know, that's my reviews. And, uh, Anyhow, this one, he said, he thought it was a little bit similar to uh, the, uh, the other one I wanted to buy, the Traverse Visfurs, the one that's supposed to smell kind of like Turkish Delight, and it's inspired by, I believe, Istanbul or Constantinople. Uh, Istanbul was Constantinople. I'm not going to sing They Might Be Giants, but another New York theme. Uh, there's the box, kind of a skin, faux skin kind of thing going on. There's the bottle, another 1.7. Uh, there's where I sprayed earlier. So we're going to spray it fresh somewhere else. So that you'll get the idea. Hey, look here. We made a test strip. And let's go. And it's a little brighter at the top. I mean, I know what I'm going to get into. I don't know if you guys do that, but like after I smell it a couple times, like, oh, oh it's going to eventually do this, but what's it doing at the beginning? Yeah, there's some bergamot or some type of citrus, it seems, to be at the top. And then eventually, 15 minutes ago, the dry down, I get a leather. I think there's a little bit of rose, that uh, History de Parfums, uh, 1969. It had a peach rose thing going on, and it was very much more feminine. This has a leather uh, rose. I want to say some type of fruit, some type of stone fruit. Oh, oh, oh. Peach, maybe. But much more toned down and more masculine. So uh, if you had a significant other who loved the 1969 and liked wearing this, I think this is a nice counterpoint. That being said... I think this is more unisex than uh, the Bond, and I think it's also, it's right in the middle. I don't I don't think, I, I can see myself wearing this, and I'm kind of looking forward to this one. And in a weird way, I'm trying to think about for granted again, them little bars, like when they say summer or fall, and of course that's just people's opinions, but this to me seems a little more fall-like, but maybe that's just my take on incense. I like it though. And this... I think it could be year-round. I like it. I like it. I'm damn glad about both of these purchases. Uh, only my second Lardison. I did have Timbuktu, a little sample, which I recommend people try. That's that's a that's a mind trip. But uh, Dzonka as well. But that's a like mind trip on you know a hard man mind trip. I don't know. <sighs> I like that too. So happy guy. I uh, hope you folks are having a great uh, 4th of July weekend. I just wanted to put up a scent of the day thing. Uh, and yeah, life's good, you know. Uh, oh, by the way, should also, I'll mention that on another one.
Ooh, the suspense. So, yeah, be safe out there, folks. Uh, don't blow anything up, especially yourself or children. And, uh, you know, as always, uh, there'll be more of these to come. And be kind.